I'm recording right now. How did I begin it last time I did this? I can't remember how I did it. I was, I was in the zone before. Hi, I am Cody with Modern Spare. Today, we are going to go over the uh, spare tire changing procedures for a late model um, Ford Mach-E. This particular example is a GT, so it does have larger brakes, and so this will apply um, to all Mach-E's of this generation. So uh, what we'll do here, the first step, obviously, is going to be to get your spare tire kit. Um, most of our kits are sold in carrying cases, so that's what we'll use for this particular example. Um, of course, before beginning any tire change, it is advisable to be on flat, level ground with the vehicle securely in place. So, you know, you have obvious things such as making sure you're in park, the parking brakes um, engaged, and other tactics you use to make sure the vehicle is stable. Um, we do, of course, recommend before you begin in any tire changing procedure, um, using a spare tire kit or whatnot, to fully familiarize yourself with the instructions and the process so that it turns out to be uh, a smooth process and not full of frustration. So what we'll first want to do is open the spare tire kit up. Um, you will find all of the, the contents of the kit right within the spare tire carrying case. So we'll begin pulling this stuff out. Um, we put the instructions on top. You'll always want to, again, consult these. Uh, we do have QR codes in our instructions as we like to keep them up to date and include any relevant info that we uh, learn about the vehicles in the future. So we'll uh, start pulling everything out. All right, now we've got our spare tire kit here with all the components laid out. You're just going to want to make sure that you have everything you need here to change your tire out. Obviously, a wheel and tire, a lug wrench set. You will notice this is extendable, and uh, what that does is gives you the torque that you need to both take the lug nuts off and put them back on. Um, different socket sizes. This is helpful and that if you need to help a friend out, change their spare tire kit out, or whatever it might be, you know, you can use them on other applications besides just your own vehicle. And the bag that goes in it, and then the jack. And this is a bag that we include to be able to put your full size uh, tire in that is presumably flat. You put it in the bag and then you throw that in the interior of your vehicle, and that way it doesn't get the interior dirty. Um, we did mention that it is advisable or strongly recommended that you get the vehicle in park and on a flat level stable surface with the parking brake engaged. We do sell an optional set of wheel chocks. This is for an added safety measure just to make sure the vehicle doesn't rock around when you are jacking it up. So um, common wisdom is that you put these on the opposite tire of what you are changing. So today we're going to be changing this front front passenger wheel. So we are going to put these on the back driver's wheel. Now we are to the point where we are going to begin lifting the vehicle. Um, we're going to get under there, make sure the jack is in a stable location at the specific vehicle lifting point. Now with modern vehicles and their electric drivetrains, it is becoming increasingly important to make sure you are lifting from the correct spot and doing so in the correct manner. If not, you know, you can really cause a bad day for yourself by causing damage to the vehicle, um, along with a host of other th things that can go wrong. So uh, we do strongly recommend you fully consult our instructions we include as well as your owner's manual to make just to make sure you're crystal clear on where you're lifting the vehicle from one add a little feature of our kit when you order a carrying case is this does have foam padding throughout so um, makes it a lot easier on your knees if you just if you know you can use this to just kneel down on when you're looking underneath the vehicle and it becomes a comfortable experience as opposed to having a pebble or a rock right at the base of your knee and uh, causing pain so i'm going to look down in here and on the Mach-E it does have arrows as to where we are putting the lift point but again I am going to strongly emphasize that you just make sure you're crystal clear on where you're putting it um, based on the instructions the owner's manual and what you see down here and we will include pictures of where this lifting point is in this video
All right, now that we've got the jack in place at the correct lifting point, before we start actually lifting the vehicle, um, it's advisable to come and break your lug nuts loose. Um, once the vehicle is suspended in the air, it becomes a lot more difficult as your tires are going to want to move around. So while it is fixed and uh, has traction against the ground, now is the time to break these loose. Now, obviously, you don't want to take them all the way off. You just want to get them broke loose. All right, now that we have the lug nuts broke loose on the wheel, we are ready to start raising the jack up. So we have a ratcheting mechanism that will make lifting the vehicle much easier as compared to the old cumbersome scissor jacks with the long handles that never seem to work quite right. This, you will notice, gives you a lot of leverage and a fantastic mechanical advantage in being able to lift the car. So it does have a switch to reverse the direction depending on which way you're going to be ratcheting it. We are going to be going up. So I switched it to the appropriate setting. And then it's just super easy. You know, you're just going to sit here and uh, ratchet it up. And then we will be ready to move forward with uh, taking the tire off the car. I will recommend that as you are lifting the vehicle up, that you uh, keep an eye on things. Make sure nothing is going wrong with where you've set the jack at and that the vehicle is stable throughout the lifting process. Um, once you've got it lifted up a little bit, but maybe not quite off the ground, it is not a bad idea to take a close look underneath there and just maybe push the vehicle a little bit, rocking around just to make sure that we're stable, we're good to go, we're going to not have any problems once the vehicle is suspended. And uh, we'll just keep working at getting the uh, tire off the ground. All right, we are now at the point in the tire change process to where we are ready to pull the tire and wheel off of the vehicle. You'll notice that the weight of the vehicle is supported by the jack and the wheel and tire are freely suspended. Uh, it is very important for safety at any point that the scissor jack is supporting the weight of the vehicle that you do not place yourself or any part of your body underneath the vehicle. So we will move forward so just taking this off uh, we've already loosened the lug nuts we broke them loose when the vehicle was on the ground so at this point it should be fairly easy to take them off now we have got the wheel and tire off of the vehicle the, we're back to this plastic bag why we included this is you may have road debris road debris grime the tire might be wet um, a variety of things can make it dirty so this we'll just throw this on And with that simple step, we are able to put it in your vehicle and the interior of the vehicle and protect it from getting dirty. All right, we've got our wheel and tire here ready to mount and go on. You will notice that this particular model has five lug holes here. We do have some of our wheels that have 10 lug holes. We have a variety of purposes we do this for. Most of the time it is to do with compatibility. So. Again, many of the principles that we are using for this tire change video may apply to other videos, but as always, we strongly recommend that you consult your instructions and owner's manual for your particular vehicle. All right, we have now got the spare wheel and tire mounted on the vehicle. Um, you will notice it, the wheel and tire is still suspended. As such, I have only hand tightened these lug nuts. We're gonna wait till the uh, vehicle is fully on the ground before we really tighten them up. So the next step is going to be lowering the vehicle. Now we did talk about that this is a ratcheting mechanism. You can simply flip the wrench over to start going down, or you can just hit the switch on the side and uh, it will change the orientation of it to where it goes opposite and we can start cranking it down. All right, now we have got the vehicle back on the ground, nice and secure. The next and final step is going to be making sure that we have adequate torque applied to the lug nuts. Now, we are going to recommend that you consult your vehicle's owner's manual for specific torque specs. Most of what we see vehicles call for between 100 to 150 foot-pounds of torque. Um, this lug wrench set is extendable to allow you to have plenty of angle on the lug nuts to give, give you the torque you need to make sure that your spare tire and wheel is snugly on the vehicle. All 
All right, we have now completed our final step of the spare tire changing process. You'll notice that when I did tighten the lug nuts down on the vehicle, I did so in a star pattern. That just allows the torque of the lug nuts to be more evenly distributed. And by doing so and applying the appropriate amount of torque, we are now on our way to go. Um, all in all, it should be a fairly quick process for a spare tire change. Um, we've designed it to be as simple and easy as possible. That being said, make sure you do it right. Don't rush through things. Make sure you're familiar with the process. And by doing so, it'll be a smooth experience. Now, um, you did notice that the spare tire is a compact tire. It does not have the same width as a full-size tire. So vehicle driving dynamics are going to be changed. You need to take extra caution when driving on a spare and don't push it, get to the next place that you need to be able to get to to adequate, adequately repair your old tire or get a replacement on. Um, thank you for this watch, watching this video and uh, we wish you the best on your journeys.